This is the 2014 CIB for FR and today we're going to talk about why this is the best small hatchback you could buy in the market today. Now the model behind me is the 1.2 FR Sport Coupe and this would be the model to purchase as it's specced quite cleverly and offers a nice exterior styling and a flat bottom steering wheel which we all obviously love. Another reason to buy this car would be the fact that it's 10 to 12 grand cheaper than the new Seat Ibiza but they are practically very similar cars other than the fact the new one has a new facelift and a new infotainment system but other than that they're very similar and I don't think it's worth spending that extra 10 grand for a new car and this car's also done most of its depreciation so you won't lose any money on depreciation whereas you will do when you buy the new one and you will lose a load of money so this one's a winner okay so let's move on to the interior of the CI Bifa and it's actually quite a nice place to be starting off with the fact you get a nice flat bottom steering wheel which I mentioned before and at the bottom of the steering wheel you get a nice FR badge which you don't see in many hatchbacks today and I must say you do get some very nice styles and a nice leather gear stick and a very driver focused interior with all your control and AC buttons facing towards you nevertheless I must say the overall design does look like a more refined um, interior uh, than the Ford previous uh, Ford Fiesta. And another thing that you get with the FR model is sports seats with the red contrasting stitching and a red airbag logo. Okay, a cool feature that the owner told me was that if you go into um, car info and status, you could actually get your RPM and en engine temperature gauge. Um, this, you could only get this if you get this little device with it and um, I think they usually do come with the CIB for you or you might have to buy it second hand but I haven't seen that in other hatchbacks so I find it pretty cool. I also forgot to mention that you could actually configure each gauge so you could have gauge 1 as your RPM gauge and then gauge 2 as your outside temperature which is pretty cool. So as for the design then, and I think it's aged quite well, it's been around five years now and it still looks like a very nice car and I really do like the quad exhaust at the back. And also this car's done around 46,000 miles so do expect like a curb wheel or like a loose piece. However, this car is still in good condition and runs pretty well. Well, what's it like to drive then? Well, the suspension is quite tough, that's why I'm going slow here, so the camera doesn't actually shake. Um, but, however, the clutch is quite light, so it does feel, you know, alright to drive. It's not as, uh, as, bad as, as bad as you think. But probably, if you were to go for, you know, a hatchback for around five, five to eight grand, this would probably be your best bet. Um, it just offers everything that you want and everything that you need in a hatchback to be fair with you. Apart from the fact, it does actually get good fuel economy, uh, so 40 mpg, but you probably could get better fuel economy with the other cars um, for, the, for that price range, but it's, it's totally up to you, it's your preference. One other feature that I do like about this car is that you do actually get auto dimming in the rear view mirror. And I didn't even know about this feature until um, I literally happened. So it's pretty cool, you don't see that in many other hatchbacks. Okay, so to conclude then, if you're looking for a second car and you aren't looking for a huge upgrade, this would probably be your best possible choice. And I'm gonna end the video here because it's getting way too windy, but um, please make sure you like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.